There are pivotal moments in human history when he feels that he is the only creature who is rational, immortal, and could dominate the forces of nature and the universe. However, rarely does he pay attention to the details, lessons, and insights from this brief and concise life that we all live. Why don't we learn wisdom and extract lessons from all these events that we pass through sequentially? Perhaps this is the puzzle that each of us must solve. This is where the comfort book comes in to remind us of this truism and help us float above all the psychological and communicative difficulties and obstacles. The book, as described by its author, is a random idea that reminds us of the importance of communication. We are all things, and we all connect with everything. This is what is expected of us as social beings who need each other. In difficult moments, we need the philosophy of patience, comfort, and solace. The Comfort Book by Matt Haig If each one of us looks at himself with a contemplative look, he would find that he holds a child inside him who accompanies him and hardly ever leaves him. That child is a symbol and an expression of all the values of innocence, love and perfection. This means that these values are natural and do not require external variables, as the child does not need to express himself through the values of wealth, beauty, fame and appearance, as all of these are external influences and non-intrinsic to the human psyche. The intrinsic in all of this is the true expressions that we miss whenever we go through the days and circumstances manipulate us. Therefore, what should we do? Nothing but remain alive as we are, without influences that obscure our innocence and hope in life. We also need to be filled with love to regain our childhood purity and clarity, as it is the only thing that makes us feel our own selves, and our relationships with those around us from all sides. It is the remedy from a world full of pressures, problems and challenges, but this does not prevent a person from shaping his life with expressions of childhood beauty and perfection. Each one of us is a complete human being if he reclaims his childhood and get rid of the narrowness of negative and deadly emotions. Also, nothing in this life can be obtained merely by wishing for it, as it has been said before, desires are not fulfilled by mere wishes, but life is taken by force. Therefore, the existential solution that we lack may be to change our perspective on the obstacles and pains that confront us. These obstacles should not be considered painful blows that hinder our path or prevent us from achieving our goals, but rather they are an essential part of the composition of this existence, which aims to provide us with immunity to challenges, confrontation, and resistance. This is how life's nature is, and this is the magic of existence. Therefore, we should not feel broken, nor should the scars of life, its chaos, or sometimes its futility, stop us. Despite their pain and the sadness that surrounds them, all these things have a hidden taste, which is that they also protect us from the psychological fragility that we may experience at any moment in our short history. We are not here to live in an ideal that exists only in our minds, but also to achieve our humanity in all its manifestations, which means that we live between weakness and strength, right and wrong, good and evil. The important thing is to preserve the purity of our gems and our hearts. Bit to remember, returning to childhood is the solution to reclaim our human perfection, and life is full of challenges, and we should not give up. Human is peculiar being, distinct in his creation from other creatures. It is not only the mind that sets him apart, but there are many qualities that differentiate him from others, and that others rarely consider. Among these qualities is his constant desire for change and the pursuit of improvement, as he tirelessly searches for ways to change his patterns of living from the dawn of human existence to the present day. This means that change is a part of human composition, and if he does not change, the nature of the universe and its laws will change. As he is born a child then grows and ages throughout his journey. This is all valuable when you feel despair, boredom, and monotony. All you have to do is to remember the obvious fact that things change, circumstances shift, and nothing is ever stable. Everything undergoes transformation, and it's essential to acknowledge these changes and move out of the comfort zones and stagnation. Humanity wouldn't have reached its current state without embarking on the adventure of change and transformation. That's why you must continue living for the other versions of yourself, that is, for the people you will meet or those you will be a part of. 
So, many of us have experienced life turning into a living hell due to one incident or another. However, human is much greater than the pain he encounters or stands in his path, by virtue of his existence and presence within this cosmic environment. We are much greater than the pain we experience, it is a fact that we must acknowledge. And in order to understand this feeling, we must contemplate the phrase I am in pain. It consists of two parts, the first being the pronoun, I, and the second being the verb to feel pain. This means that the self always transcends pain since it is your inner life, your very existence. In other words, the self exists even if there is no pain, but pain is merely a passing phenomenon. This confusion and misconception are what cause many psychological problems and physical disorders. It is when a person believes that the self is the pain, as if depression is not an experience that a person faces at a moment in their life, but rather an identity that is attached to the self and difficult to separate from. Imagining depression as a sum total of the entire self is a dangerous confusion of concepts. The problem lies in the binary view of things, as we must look at existence from a different perspective. Things are not ideal or catastrophic, but rather a mixture of both in many cases. Bit to remember, change is a fundamental aspect of existence, that is why we must combat stagnation and the dangerous misconception that the self is greater than pain. In the journey of self-discovery and truth-seeking, you discover that words often fail to express the truth, and sometimes, they cannot say everything. The writer himself, who studies one of the critical theories of criticism, discovers after research that there is a significant gap between the signifier and the signified. The word dog may not refer to a dog, and water may not refer to water, and war scenes on television may not be true. This confirms an important issue in postmodern studies, as it becomes apparent that humans try to reach a meaning that cannot be captured. This is an important aspect of studies, but if we apply the same thing to our real life, we will discover the same thing. Many of us may feel that there is a gap between the signifier and the signified in our minds, between appearance and inner feeling. In other words, words cannot express what we feel. When we speak and use words, we put them in a shared world, and this world is language. Therefore, words do not capture, but rather release meaning. Similarly, there are those who want to appear positive in everything, and there is an underlying fear in our hearts of all negative things or what we consider negative. You may feel guilty for your failures, fears, and sadness, while the contemplative person realizes the truth that you cannot stop the rain by command. Sometimes you need to let the rain fall to wet your body, but the important thing is that it will stop at some point. These things are the same if they are applied to our real life. We cannot stop the emotions that we go through with a command or desire, but we must let them happen so that their effect strengthens us and gives us the necessary immunity to face life and its harshness. You must be yourself in this life and stop being someone else other than what you carry within your sides. This is a difficult task, but it is not impossible. There is a truth that we must defend and deserves our struggle and confrontation, which is expressing ourselves no matter the cost. This is an inspiring act for anyone who feels marginalized, excluded, and trying to fit in with others. Bit to remember, words create a gap between reality and our inner world, and self-expression is one of the highest forms of human expression. We all know Nietzsche, the philosopher of the hammer or the philosopher of counter-criticism, who said that our existence stops after we have existed, which is the real reason for the fear we feel. This feeling should not deprive us of seeing things in a better, different, and contrasting way. The fear of death, fundamentally, is a fear of the future and the unknown. If we want to get rid of it, we should live in the present moment. Living in the present is the existential remedy for such a feeling. Our fear of death, like our fear of anything else, is multiplied when we stop talking about it and making it visible. Humans by nature are afraid of the invisible and the hidden even though death is an expression of important things as well. It is not just a contradiction of the natural world, but it is what gives us the vision of the truth of our mortality and that we are transient beings. Therefore, we must use the stations of our lives in what benefits us and humanity as a whole. Death also helps us define life, and it increases the value of our time on the planet and the value of those we spend our time with. 
Likewise, we all carry emotional armor and intense feelings, but this should not be a heavy burden on your movement, and these emotions should not turn into a dilemma that prevents you from discovering the way you will spend the precious life in front of you. This means that your existential presence is your true value that you should strive to establish in this life. The true value of a human being cannot be bought only by fame, money, or power. Your value lies in your existence, which you were born with and in, just like all the children are born. This value does not disappear due to aging, as it is an inherent quality as long as humans exist, and as long as their pursuit of achieving their goals lies in their self-interest and the interest of others who share with us this transient existence. Bit to remember, fear of death should not be an obstacle that prevents us from seeing life as it really is, and emotions should not stop our movement towards achieving our goals.